and welcome to the Shelly Studio. Um, back with the hashtag event, Love Spring Art is the one for this month. And I decided, since it's my watercolor Wednesday day, that I would do a watercolor of some flowers. Um, I really consider this a watercolor doodling, and I'm just making um, some non-realistic flowers. Um, my intent with this flower that I'm working on right now was to be a little bit lighter so that I could come in with some darker red, but it ends up being quite dark. Um, the pigments on these watercolors are um, really strong, so to get them lighter I would have needed to dilute it a lot more, but I think it turns out okay. So I'm just making some petal shapes there. Now with the hashtag event, um, if you put hashtag love spring art in the search box on YouTube, um, you will pull up um, videos from all, a lot of the other artists that are participating in, in this event. Um, hashtag event and art crawl, um, which is where you go from artist to artist and see all the different works that they're creating. and. Our theme is Love Spring Art, so put that in the search engine, you will find a lot of uh, great artists out there doing some really fun technique videos. And here I'm just moistening the center of that, and I'm going to put some yellow in there and let it bleed. Um, I'm too impatient though, I decided to push it around the edges because um, it wasn't bleeding fast enough for me. <laughs> so here I want to I'm just doodling another little flower with some light orange color and we'll come back with darker later after it's dried. This is another little flower. I did see um, flowers similar to these on a blog and you know I really should write these things down when I see them because I cannot find her blog again um, so that I can give the appropriate credit and I'm really sorry. Um, they are they are not exactly the same, but they are quite similar to uh, the ladies on this blog that I saw. So we should do a blue flower. We like blue. decided it was too dark so I'm just lifting up some color. So to do that I just dry the brush off a little bit and it kind of wicks it up. Or you know, paper towel works too. <laughs> I think I was a little impatient there. Didn't want to have to sit there and fiddle. I'm sorry I cut this off a little bit down here but I am just doodling another watercolor flower in orange. You'll get to see it eventually. Okay, so now all those base shapes are dry. I'm just going to go over the top of some of them and um, create some interest. A little bit darker colors. So there's just a little bit darker orange over the top, but leaving some of the light 
so that you can see some of the light. And again, working on that orange flower at the bottom. Sorry, it's so cut off. darker red to some of the red flowers. Just to make it a little bit more interesting. I decided that one needed some more, and then I decided it's a little too much, so I left a little off, but you know, you just keep working with it until you like it. to dry and once it's dry we can go in with some more color. Okay, I'm just doing some dots around the center of this flower because it needs something. And then my other flower needs a center. It's in profile, so we've got a big, tall, daisy-like flower. And yes, yes, I am drawing with my watercolor, doing a little bit of an outline around the petals on this blue one, because it needed help. flower just to give it some more interest because it needed something. Just add a little red to that. that orange one needs some help. So I'm trying. I felt I needed to attach those petals somehow. And I think we might be ready for stems now. Let's get some stems on these flowers. I'm 
Uh, we'll add a bunch of leaves to these. And I decided that it would be um, fun to make all the leaves a little bit different colors. So they are, um, some of them are a little bit different mix of the green and the yellow and the blue. Just to give them different colors. And this does jump here at the end. I filled up my memory card again. <laughs> didn't realize it, so it does jump a little bit. And that's it for this watercolor. Um, hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please hit like. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. And don't forget to search for hashtag lovespringart. Thanks for watching.